Hi, welcome to part three of the Houdini particle project. In this chapter, I'm going to talk about how to use the velocity field from the fire simulation and use that velocity field to control the particles. So let's get started. First thing, we want to organize our project because we don't want to put our source geo and our pot particle simulation in the same tab so we can separate them so let's uh, copy this control C and create another tab called particle so call this particle and just paste our node here and add an object merge node here we want to bring our sauce, the sphere here. So let's go to the sauce and delete this node and create a node which doesn't do anything, but you can name it like a geo out and just control C and go to the particle and in object merge, we want to control V and you can click this icon here and hide other object and put our view flag on it so our geo from the source is bring to the particle here and we can connect here and we can go to the mirror one here let's see let's play it and it's the same but by this way uh, the project is more organized because we have the source here only have the geometry and we have our particle simulation here now let's create the fire simulations so for fire simulation we create another tab here let's type geo and let's change the name to fire and double, double click to go inside and for the fire simulation, we wouldn't create a very detailed one because we only use the velocity field. So what I covered in this chapter is for the fire simulation is very basic. So for fire simulation, we also want to use the same geometry we use for the particle simulation. So we want to bring it in here. So we're going to use the object merge node again. And we go to the source here copy copy this one and in object tab paste here you can also use the icon here and find it but I just copy and paste which is faster and for the fire simulation you need density and temperature at temperature attribute so Houdini provide a node that it's very convenient it's called pyro sauce and you can see the node information here now we only have a position attribute and when we connect this and set the initialize to sauce smoke it will create a density and temperature attribute here and let's view this you can see they create density p scale and temperature P scale is the particle separation and now these are only point we want to turn that into a volume so we're going to use a volume rasterize attributes and connect and put our view flag on the volume rasterize attribute you see nothing because we don't choose the attribute here so here we want rasterize the density and and our temperature and now you can see it's a very low rest volume we want to change the vocal size to 0 0.05 and also we want to change our particle separation in the pyro sauce node to 0 0.02 now you can see it's more detailed so if we our sauce is detailed so and our simulation will be more detailed if we our source is low rest then our simulation will be low rest as well 
like there are no lot of detail in the simulation and because uh, our we only use the velocity field from our pyro simulation so I'm not going to use the dot network here we can create like a advanced uh, pyro sim in the dot network but we are use we are doing only basic pyro simulation so I'm going to use the pyro solver which is soft level uh, pyro simulation it's more basic and it's easier to understand but if you want to create in the dot network you can you can use the sparse pyro solver and you can create volume source and you can create uh, 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 sparse smoke object here and let's connect smoke object here volume source here and this is the uh, way you create the pyrosoft in top network but we can we're not gonna use this one so let's delete this one we're gonna use the pyro solver that which is more convenient so let's go to the first frame first and view our pyro solver so let's play hit play you can see the pyro solver is a little bit re low resolution it's because our vocal size is set to 0 0.1 Let's go to the first frame again and change it to 0 0.05. We want more detail on it, so our velocity field will have more details. So let's play it again. And now you can see it's more detail. And let's go to the first frame. So the fire looks a little bit boring. We want to add some more turbulence on it. So we can go to the solving tab and go to the shape tab. We can see we can add turbulence and we can add even this turbulence here. And we can change the value to 0 0.2 here and 0 0.5 to the turbulence. And now hit play. You can see the fire go to higher. So we can go to the first frame again we can go to the uh, simulation tab here under the solving and we can change the uh, reference temperature to 500 and let's hit play again and now you can see the turbulence is affecting the smoke and we can change the buoyancy skew the buoyancy skew buoyancy scale if it's negative one it, the smoke will go downwards you can see and because our smoke go upwards so we don't want anything uh, calculate um, uh, below the y-axis because it's wasting our CPU power so in the setup tab we can treat y as close below so it won't calculate anything below the plane so Let's play it again. You can see it's clipped and we can now set our buoyancy scale to let's say 1.2 and go to first frame and play. Yeah, I think it's good for our smoke simulation. So now we want to export our smoke. So to export, we can see tab here export we got density velocity temperature flame and color so we don't need color we don't need flame we don't need temperature we only need velocity field and the density field here is to visualize our smoke in the viewport so let's see let's see what our velocity field looks like let's go to the first frame and to visualize our velocity field, we can use a volume slice. And let's set to X, Y, and Z plan. And let's play. 
you can see that's our velocity field and you can use a volume trail node to make it more easier to look connect the volume slice to the first input and connect our pyro solver to the second input here and put our view flag on the volume trail node and go to the first frame and let's play so this is our velocity field from the smoke simulation and we're gonna use this velocity field to influence our particle simulation so the particle will move just like the smoke and how do we get our velocity field so in pyro simulation here let's go to the node info you can see there are lots of attribute and you can see the velocity field and the density field we have so we don't want density field because it's only for our visualization now so we can delete our density field we can use the blast node here and connect and view our blast node we can delete our density and here we're gonna use the now here and call it velocity out now that we can use this velocity field and copy this and, and go to our particle simulation let's organize this a little bit so we use the velocity here and go to the particle here we're gonna bring it to the particle simulation so this here uh, the one I calculate our velocity ourselves we are not gonna use this anymore so you can disable this and we got object merge our velocity field control V to paste all you can just select go to the fire velocity out and yes this is fire velocity out and go to part uh, this is our velocity you can't see it so connect the velocity to the second input and our source to the first input of our pop network and put our view flag on the pop network and go inside to the pop network and now you can see source first input because we have set this to in use our inherited velocity but we don't have velocity on the source here because we disabled this so if we play this you can see the particles are like this they are not influenced by our velocity field so how do we gonna input our velocity field we can use a node cut pop and back by volume and connect that the velocity source is the second input because we connect to the second input of the pop network here and here we can use the update uh, position and now we play you can see the particles are moving like a fire so that's what we want and now we can go out and, and let's view the result go to the first frame and play I think we can disable the clip node here and play yeah it looks better than before now you can see the uh, the particles are like turbulent around and we can adjust the trail length to maybe six or five and the trail increment to one maybe yeah the trail length to six or seven yeah i think seven is good so this is how you use the velocity field from the fire simulation to influence the particles so 
you can do a fire simulation first and then use the velocity field and go to the particle simulation and use the velocity field in the pop network use the pop advec by volumes in the particle simulation and everything works like a magic if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and see you in next chapter